Hey guys, Nick here from Thrive. If you're wanting to create a Facebook landing page for business, then when you're inside the Facebook ads manager, when you go to business.facebook.com, log into your ads manager section and you create a campaign, which is what we've got going on here. Then you create the ad set, which is where you'll target your audience. Um, the campaign, you decide on whether you're going to send traffic or you're going to work on conversions and so on um, and you're going to select whether you want to a b test so whether you want a couple of tests running at the same time see which which campaign works best um, your ad set is generally your audience and targeting so you select your budget say 20 dollars a day select your audience and so on um, this is a quick crash course by the way um, for targeting if you're, let's say you're creating a landing page for a business and I'll assume it's a small local business um, it's not that great always depending on what type of business you're running um, that will really just depend on whether you want to do any of the targeting, the detailed targeting. I've got another video for detailed targeting but in the meantime um, you want to avoid the detailed targeting if you're a local business and you're more generic such as a chiropractor or a hair salon dentistry um, or gym and so on because if you target down too much you can miss, miss out on a ton of people that may want your service just because Facebook gets the wrong idea and puts your ad in front of people that are least likely to um, hear your message. So that was just a quick um, side note while this page is refreshing. So you can see here that the traffic we're wanting to send people to is to a website because you're using a landing page um inside of that once you've selected the audience you definitely want to select the location which i have a video for already but let's say you've dropped a pin down here in your local area and you've set the kilometers here to be five or ten k's i don't recommend too far outside of 10 k's because people aren't necessarily going to travel that far for your local small business um, and one kilometers is just too narrow as well facebook tends to you know is, tends to cut the people off so Anyway, automatic placements is recommended, generally speaking, unless your ad is designed only for, uh, say, newsfeed on Facebook. Um, but automatic is great because they put you generally into the Instagram feed and into their ad network. Um, add new ad is really where you're going to produce the ad itself and how it looks. I've just put in like a, a filler image and filler text. But see your primary text that goes in here. Um, you can see here on this lane here you've got primary text goes here so it goes at the top that's the main part and that's like the chunk of the text so you can see here that there's just a lot of text that can go in there um, usually about two to three lines before it cuts it off and you have to click that see more button so just consider that when you're designing the copy and um, the headlines so you got there you can see it's in there click here to get off it so you can see here it shows up down the bottom and then whether you select the button is learn more down to the call to action here or apply now. Um, generally speaking, um, you'll just want to set up an appropriate button that calls to action. And then your landing page is obviously the website URL that you're using. So it could be, you know, it could be just a, uh, it's the URL of your landing page, of course. Um, for the purposes of this video, we don't really care too much about what that is. So quick video, you're an Aweaver. Um, I generally recommend Aweaver because they produce free landing pages and that's great for service-based businesses and you can use them for free until you've got 500 leads or 500 subscribers that have signed up to your through your lead page for your offer and for a business that can be a big deal and um, if you want to know how to do that um, just click the link in the description below and that will go through my affiliate link um, and I've got other videos on how to set up Aweaver landing pages and so on. So you can do this for free as well. So you set up your landing page. Um, you may not want to use a thank you page. You're probably more likely to use um, a small squeeze page like this one here. Um, or a gift guide like this one. If you've got a voucher that you want to give away and you just want to have a headline with a little bit of info. Um, but generally speaking, if you're a local business, you want to keep it short and sweet. Um, it could be like a, a checklist offer. Um, but let's just pick one of these, for example. I'll pick this one before for a tutorial, so let's use this one. Um, and let's say that you're a dentistry. Um, you could be a restaurant or a chiro or a gym or a hair salon or a fish and chip shop or whatever it is. 
for New Zealand we've got this fish and chip shop so just real quickly um, you could say free teeth cleaning um, offer um, generally speaking depending on what text you've got here will depend on what you're putting in this whole thing but um, you could say claim your free teeth cleaning um, then he could say uh, hey Christchurch residents we're doing something crazy uh, we're giving away free teeth cleaning for the first 50 people who grab this um, offer maybe you could put a voucher in here um, then tell them what to do so click the button um, well for this one it's not click button it's just enter your name um, I wouldn't ask for a phone necessarily because you can get that on the back end but just enter your name and email so we can send you the voucher um, and then what you do is on your thank you page so that's the page that after they've entered in their information here you might just get rid of that or you might put info in there later um, but after you have um, got their name and email this page can redirect into a thank you page which says hey by the way um, if you call us on this number or text us on this number um, with your phone number we'll give you an extra bonus and what that thank you page does is it encourages them to sign up to use the offer to use the voucher right now and that's a perfect way to help set up your conversion rates so that they're optimized and this is just an example we have a landing page that you can use for free you can swap out the logo here um, using whatever logos that you've got for your business and um, yeah you can put something together for free using Aweber so click the button below in the um, description there that I've provided for you and you can get access to the software 100% um, free and um, for your first 500 subscribers and uh, check out my other videos for more tutorials just like this so this has been useful for using Facebook um, and to generate leads and sales for your business using landing pages